What's happening, good people? It's your boy P Double One Half for the Bootleg Cable Podcast, and um, I guess I'm kind of re-upping on a conversation that we had recently on the podcast about Dwayne Wade, Gabrielle Union, and uh, his child Zaya Wade. So uh, Boosie made some comments recently, and Boosie jumped out the window and said, uh, "You know, Dwayne Wade, you gone too far. Um, you don't don't cut his dick off." That was that was the the, the main the, the 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 polarizing line in all of this was don't cut his dick off. I don't care if he want to be gay. I don't care if he want to be this. Whatever, whatever. He twelve years old. Don't cut his dick off, right? <laughs> he probably said that shit like three four times. But um, now they brought it up on the breakfast Breakfast Club this morning about you know how do we feel about his comments and X Y and Z. I agree at the same time, and, and me as a, as a commentator, I commentated, uh, commentator, me as a podcaster, you know, we, we talk about shit. We talk about shit that people talking about. And one of the questions that they were saying on The Breakfast Club was, why is it that we are, as people commenting on whatever another man is doing with his child or another woman is doing with their child? The reason why the, the, the public is commenting on it is because they're bringing it to public light. So the public cannot comment on something if you as the celebrity don't invite us in and make it our business, so to say. And when I say make it our business, you coming out publicly with this. So let's just say um, when Dwayne Wade took the picture with him, uh, his child, the, the daughter and Gabrielle, that the one that was on the steps, and we saw his child with the nails and whatever, whatever, and everybody was commenting on it, and he said, my girls, right? If from that point on, if Dwayne Wade were asked about it, and he said, this is my family, this is my child, it's my business, don't ask me about it, next question. If he kept that same energy for every single time somebody asked about his child and his and his child's sexual orientation, his child's gender, whatever the case is, if he had took that approach and said, yo, told his child don't make no public um, post about this on social media, if somebody asked you, basically tell them to mind their business if that was the energy that he had kept from the beginning when it comes to all of this then none of us would be having this conversation but instead you're also making your child a public figure by being out at the pride events talking about his uh gender or how he felt since he was three years old on different platforms making appearances here and there and whatever whatever and you know riding in a golf court golf cart and putting your child out on social media doing it that way it's his fault that we the public are making comments about this because again keep that same energy of yo this is my family i don't want anything i don't want my family in the public light blah 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 maintain that same energy is your child a member of the lgb i don't know don't ask me no questions about that next next topic shoot it down from the beginning but again we are here you got boosie jumping out the window talking about don't cut his dick off like charlemagne said and i said it also when i talked to my homeboy killer about it I never heard anything about gender reassignment or whatever, whatever. So I'm not sure where Boosie is getting this from, why he jumping out the window like this. So to answer Charlemagne's question, I know he ain't gonna see this video, but a lot of y'all that's out there talking about it, I feel like I feel like at this point now, yes, we have all right to talk about it because he is inviting us into his family. He is inviting he is, he is putting his family on display for public scrutiny. So you can't put your family on display for public scrutiny and then go right behind that and be like, yo, everybody should mind their business or whatever, whatever. So that's my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? I wish the young child well. I wish Dwayne Wade and his family well. 
You know what I mean? And, and, and I hope that everything positive that can come out of the situation does come out of the situation. Y'all comment. Y'all tell me how y'all feel, man. It's Bootleg Cable Podcast. You know what it is, man. Holla.